Hello all, welcome to a virtual coffee. We haven't talked in a while. I'm sorry, it's more my fault than anybody else's. Um, but I wanted to get on before um, 4th of July. I wanted a 4th of July message to everybody. Our virtual coffee today is brought to you by none other than uh, ice cold grapefruit juice. Mm -mm -mm. Because it's just too hot out for coffee. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Been blessed. Been a lot, a lot been going on lately, and a, a lot of things uh, happening here. We're right up on the 4th of July weekend. Super exciting for us. We've got family coming into town. Um, I haven't seen my whole family in a long, long time, so we're just going to have a blast. But what I want to talk to you today is I want to talk about uh, something near and dear to my heart, America. Uh, not only do I live here and all my stuff is here, but I'm a big fan of, of America and what it represents. Um, our American flag is interesting. I mean, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but our flag has a lot of uh, a lot of symbol uh, symbolism on it, right? Um, there's twenty been twenty seven different versions of the flag. I mean, we're the the current version we have was uh, designed in 1949 by a 17 year old. That was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously we've got Betsy Ross for the original. Um, however, so the one that you know today. In love with all 50 stars and their stripes was designed by a 17 year old way to go robert heft shout out to you if you're still alive i hope you are um i also have another one here which is really neat uh, this one is near and dear to my heart uh, this one is very old uh, and if you notice all the stars are in a line that's because it is and i'm covering my mouth sorry uh this is a, a flag with 48 stars. So this was before we added Alaska and Hawaii. Two places I wouldn't mind being right now. Uh, Alaska, Hawaii, if you're listening, uh, I'd love a trip. I'm just kidding. Um, but I love what the flag represents. If we think about the, the red, white, and blue, we, we realize that it represents uh, valor, liberty, and purity. Now, regardless of who you are, um, I think we can all agree that if there is one flag that can unify us, it's this one, right? Representing everybody. Even if you disagree, that's the beauty of it, is that this flag represents the ability for you to disagree with other people. I've been blessed um, to live here in this country. I've been blessed uh, to live with my fellow Americans and to love on people in this country and in other countries and the freedom to do so with the faith and the way that I, I choose to do so. And uh, even to do these things, right? I'm sure in other countries they, they prohibit what you can say about the country's flag or about, uh, or about the country that you live in, but not here. We have that opportunity. Even to those who are lighting the flag on fire and stamping it out, that, that liberty is afforded to you, ironically, by that flag. Uh, so on this 4th of July, I want us to remember the uh, opportunities we've been given, the um, goodness that that flag represents and the uh, hope for prosperity for all. Anyway, have a happy 4th of July. I hope you're doing something fun, barbecuing, eating, uh, eating and barbecuing, preferably both, uh, in not that order. Make sure you cook your meat first. There you go, there's a fun fact. Um, we're gonna be blessed having some friends and family and everybody over enjoying some fireworks and celebrating the independence of this awesome, awesome country. So happy 4th, and we'll talk to you soon, bye.